For years, people criticized the resources Windows uses out of the box. And for years, people in the Linux community praised how little Linux uses to run a system. But does it really matter when it comes to gaming? Let's find out. Today, I'm going to run some benchmarks on different desktop environments and compare them against each other so you can spend less time choosing and more time playing. The distribution I chose is Nix OS. It is the perfect distribution to do so because changing the desktop on it is super easy. Only one or two lines in configuration file. And it will replace the entire desktop without leaving any trace. Which means I can have a pure environment when running all the benchmarks. And the games I'll be benchmarking are the two legal copies I own on Steam. Assassin's Creed Origins, ACO in short. Tomb Raider, the first reboot in 2013 and Red Dead Redemption 2 or RDR2 running in a bottle. Both Steam and bottles are installed from FlatHub using Flatpak. You can find more details on why I do it this way in this video. As for the desktops, GNOME and KDE will be using GDM and SDDM accordingly as it is the most common setup. And they will be running on Wayland with only Assassin's Creed and RDR2. This is because I found that KDE Wayland performs much better on benchmarks compared to X11. The benchmarks of the Red Dead Redemption 2 and ACO were actually not too far behind compared to the stripped down gaming Windows 10. I won't run Tomb Raider on these two desktops because this game is 10 years old. I can't start it using Nvidia on Wayland. The FPS is around 32 with an integrated AMD GPU inside this laptop. You could still use X11 instead if you want to play this game because even though the FPS result is not as good as Windows 10 on X11, it is still good enough to be more than playable as you will see later. The other desktops will be using X11 and LightDM combo. Let's start with KDE Plasma on Wayland. I'm getting 32 minimum FPS, 67 maximum, and 45.4 on average for Red Dead Redemption. While on Assassin's Creed Origins, it gave me a total of 86.51 with 72 FPS on average. The average FPS is exactly the same as it is on Windows, and the overall frames are only 100 lower than Windows. That is how good KDE is for running games. The only issue is you can see 4 extreme glitches on Linux here, but it is clearly in the same league now. On GNOME, the results of Red Dead Redemption 2 are minimum 25.4 FPS, maximum 87.14, and average of 43 FPS. It is almost identical to the benchmark I ran on the Pure Fedora with same desktop environment, even though that is running through a USB 3.0 port on an external SSD. Assassin's Creed has an overall score of 8732 and the same 72 frame rates on average. Compared to KDE, the surprise is that I didn't see any glitches while running the benchmark this time, and the score is higher which is extremely impressive. Now we can see between the desktop that run on Wayland, KDE is only slightly behind Windows on both locations. GNOME has worse result on RDR2, but almost matches the Windows score on Assassin's Creed. However, with less than 100 overall frame difference, I would say KDE and GNOME are the same because if I rerun this benchmark several times on both of them, they may end up averaging out. Let's now go to XFCE, which is the default environment of Manjaro, one of the most famous gaming-oriented distributions. Let's see if it makes sense. The result of RDR2 is very similar to X11 KDE, with a dramatic range between 21.3 and 103.9, and the average is 45.18, which is worse than those on Wayland. It's the turn of Assassin's Creed. It has an overall frames of 8315 and achieved an average of 69 FPS, the worst performer so far. Even the CPU and GPU speed were slower than the Wayland desktops. However, I see only one or two tiny glitches this time, smoother than KDE. 
and Tomb Raider got 1 to 3 for its maximum, 78.6 for its minimum, and 103.2 for average. Clearly, XFCE cannot match the performance to those Wayland brothers, but let's see if he can still be the king in X11 at least, as we move to Cinnamon. Seems like Manjaro team is onto something with XFC as their default because the maximum frame rate of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Cinnamon is even higher, 107.8, and I'm getting a lower minimum of 18.6, while the average stays at 46. Same story on the Assassin's Creed benchmark. It gave me an overall of 7987 frames with only 66 FPS on average, lowest so far with no glitch either. And the Tomb Raider had the result of maximum 124, minimum 77, and average 102, which is close to XFCE. I guess it makes less difference with old games like this on X11. This is quite helpful if you want to choose between Linux Mint and Ubuntu as your daily driver for gaming. Because if we take out all the factors of modification and personal preference, GNOME on Wayland itself might be more attractive to gamers than Cinnamon on Mint. But be mindful, I'm using the pure GNOME desktop on NixOS here, so you probably want to consider Fedora over Ubuntu as Fedora has less modification of GNOME out of the box. For some weird reason, Mate is not loading up for me, so I jumped over Pantheon. Let's see if the elementary OS desktop environment can redeem it for X11. With RDR2, I got slightly better result than XFC and a little worse than GNOME with a maximum of 105, minimum of 22.7, and average of 46.4. With no further expectations, I started Assassin's Creed. And holy moly, you reached 8874 highest score I ever seen for this game. It is even higher than the window score of 8766 by 1.2% and I see no hiccups on the graphics during the benchmark at all. Even the average frame rate passed the highest I saw on GNOME and Windows at 74. I'm gonna officially declare Linux gaming has passed Windows in performance right here, right now. Well, probably not yet. As in Tomb Raider, the benchmark reached at the top at 120 FPS, 78.4 at lowest, and 100.6 for the average, which is still not as good as Windows. I was thinking about adding i3 and Sway into this equation, but given the minimum setup Nix OS need for Sway, I gave up. Let me know in the comment below if you really really want to see that. I will consider it if I can get enough signals from you guys, but probably in some other times and distributions. Now, based on what we have learned so far, if you only want to play older games from 10 years ago, you'd better stay with X11 because some of them don't support Wayland with Nvidia. And it doesn't matter which X11 environment you choose, they're all similar. The only disappointment I had was to see Cinnamon had the lowest score of all given how much and how long I have loved it. And if you want to play newer games, the safest bet is to use KDE on Wayland. It will give you the stability and performance close enough to Windows. But for some other games, GNOME can do a little bit better than KDE, while it is still not as stable on the other hand. Finally, if you have to stay on X11, go with Pantheon. Even though it does not match the frame rates of GNOME in Red Dead Redemption, it beats XFCE. It has the best overall score for Assassin's Creed Origins, including Windows, and it can still play older games. True King in the X11 category. I know I also miss Budgie, but there is no official support in NixOS yet, so I had to postpone that into the future. And that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.